Okay, YouTube family, I'm here to update you on more news. Now, everybody was losing their minds. They were saying that Quavo also got hit and shot in the situation. And I told them from my sources, he didn't get hit at all. In fact, people are trying to put blame on him, not me. I'm not going to do that crap at all. But I said Quavo was okay. Now, update, Quavo team reached out and said he was not shot takeoff situation has sadly been confirmed now takeoff he unfortunately uh, unfortunately did lose his life now quavo um was not shot on halloween as the two were visiting friends and associates for the holidays you know what i mean and i'm gonna lower the volume too for y'all for a little bit all right let's go now they say he was there chilling and we know the situation with the dice game and we know commotion started it but it unraveled news traveled so fast that a lot of people started doing a lot of hoop line speculations which is understandable but uh, quavo was the first person initially people thought something happened to because that's all you kept hearing only inside sources we knew when they said it was takeoff but a lot of people ran with that story and i see they didn't delete the video so when we did a live today a lot of people were asking bless one but they said quavo was shot too and I'm trying to tell y'all, no, what happened was the receipt that we had where the witness sent Sean Cotton a message, he was saying that this, see, that's the picture right there of them at the dice game, right? Minutes before it happened, you know, the situation. And they're letting us know that uh, Quavo was getting mad. That's why his name is ringing everywhere. He was at the dice game, shooting the dice, rolling it. But um, he was getting in tune with some of the members. Let's read what he said again. This is what the guy said. So Quavo was shooting dice and he was getting his pockets broke off bad. So dude had an attitude and he tried getting aggressive with the wrong mob ties nigga. Not going to drop names. And dude got on his ass. Then somebody they was with jumped up. And that's when everybody bunched up. And then shots just start ringing. But they were coming from somebody Migos was with. But he was shooting wild and take off. Um, on accident and the other niggas start shooting back and i think he got hit again but ultimately his own niggas killed him because when he got hit the first time i seen his body just drop quavo was plexed up over some small ish it really wasn't worth it take off was the coolest quiet nigga in the room now this situation is uncomfortable because you're reading it and you're like man it sounds like something that could have been pre you know preventable and I already showed pictures of takeoff in the room, minding his own business, just smoking. You know what I mean? And this incident, man, the update is like now it's been confirmed that the incident happened at 810 Billards and Bowling Alley, a popular bowling alley in town. In official reports, takeoff and Quavo were indeed playing dice. Nah, takeoff wasn't. You heard what the witness wrote. This report got it wrong. Takeoff was just there. They said playing dice. Let me rep initial reports. Hang on, y'all. Popular bowling alley in town and official reports. Takeoff and Quavo were indeed playing dice. That's what the report said. When the altercation broke out, there someone opened fire and hit Takeoff in his torso. Houston police also revealed two others were shot and taken to the hospital in private vehicle. See, they got this information wrong somewhat because the torso might be facts but he also got hit in the head allegedly we're gonna say but we seen the video he was leaking from his head y'all at least i know what i seen now people are going brazy sending a lot of videos and now as the lady said rest in peace take off that was sickening to see that happen to you he minded his business the whole night i'm sick so she was there she said y'all ain't finna tell me i'm lying when i ran from the same bullets that shot him um get the f out of here but whatever what bs for real that's all i'm gonna say so this is a witness who was there on the scene and she seen what happened now another one said apparently my sis friend was at a private event and said it happened right next to him sheesh see a lot of people is spreading it seeing a lot of bad news about takeoff it's annoying me that it's 4 a.m so there's no official sources it's apparently just happened at three they just they down here in houston so it's here to and y'all can't see what i'm reading so i'm gonna do this a little bit later but you can see all of them there chilling it was completely true and happened at night in front of me man a lot of people are sending it out 
it's just a lot of confirmations y'all a lot of things is confirming what happened and we're gonna get into that in a little bit um on another separate video because this is too much to add to this i should have added in the beginning but um yes man quavo wasn't shot so who's ever reporting that clearly was either getting their information the wrong way now we played the audio of the dispatch report let's listen to that right quick Peace on the check out 22 v 23 12 12 Grand Plaza. For discharge of firearm. Says five shots fired downstairs, from downstairs, uh, outside, near 2004. The people next door are calling in about discharging firearms. It's not next door, it's from uh, 2202. Possible discharging firearms or shooting, not sure which. Then just been so at Dallas. Color shots and people screaming. Cozy shooting just occurred on that cell, San Jacinto and Dallas. Now, as you see, what they're showing is that the person who was next to them heard the gunshots go off, and you know, they called the situation a tragic one, but. The, the news definitely didn't go deeper on it other than letting us know about the fiasco. And when people first heard about it, they were getting annoyed because Sean Cotton had people getting mad at him too. And they thought he was clout chasing and lying over it. And but my thing to anybody, why would anybody, especially in their statures with the platforms they have, need to lie about that? Now, this is Quavo chilling uh, uh, in the fifth ward of Houston right before the situation took place. So let's go back to that video. We can check this one out. Yeah, we sliding through the town, man. We sliding through the town. Now we get down. Got the birthday boy with me. Yeah, also. Yeah, we on the fifth. Yeah, the fifth ward. Like this motherfucker. Now I got one for you now. I got a 6-1 coming. Through the town, man. We sliding through the town. Now we get down. Got the first day boy with me. Yeah, also. Yeah, we on the fifth. Yeah, the fifth boy. Like this motherfucker. Now I got one for you now. I got a six one. Now you can see they had the weapon on the lap and everything. They're the ones who posted it. Just so people can understand, they're not lacking out here to what behooves you and what people were saying. They weren't lacking at all. Look, man, we're going to upload you on the other update from the witnesses' first accounts and people who was actually there. Um, tragedy at, it, at most, we could say to this, man. Look, man, I'm DJ Bless One. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. I don't know what more to say about this heartening story. This one's going to hurt the heart for a long time. Bless you.